And if you're done, your drawing should look somewhat like this. Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and today I'll show you how to draw CHC's epic Venom drawing. Easy and step by step. So even if you should be a beginner, you will be able to produce a nice piece of art after watching this video. And if you like comic book drawing videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And let me know down in the comments which character would you like me to draw in a tutorial like this one. With every comment of this sort, you will be able to win this Amazon gift card. But now, take out a pencil and a piece of paper, cause now it's time to draw! As always, we start with the gesture drawing and this is the most important step, so please take your time and do it properly. I tried to break down the figure of Venom into very simple shapes as you can see right here, which will make it really easy for you guys to reconstruct the whole drawing you'll see. We already got the torso, the right hand and now we are on the legs. This is where the head needs to be placed and also we already put in the eyes. The big mouth, the neck and look at those deep collarbones. So make sure to draw a really long neck and the collarbones as low as I do. It took me a while to figure this out when I was preparing with some warm up drawings for this video. And this is the left hand, make sure to take care of the angle of the fingers. And since you might be wondering, I drew this on a very cheap copy paper with a 2B pencil so you can see it better for the video. Plus, I actually prefer to use a soft lead like a 2B one for sketching because you are so fluid when working with these soft leads. But the downside of these soft leads is that you make a mess and you can't erase them very good. Which means you have to transfer it later to the actual drawing piece of paper. But also, this brings the advantage of moving your character around on the actual drawing paper, which is very nice. And as you can see, I'm also sketching in the part of the building where Venom is standing on. Now we erase some of the most confusing lines. And then we lighten up the whole drawing because those are just help lines for the actual drawing. Which means we are using the gesture drawing now as an underdrawing. So we can correctly place all the muscles and all the other lines. And all the references like gesture drawing, line drawing, line weight, strong blacks, they all will be on my Instagram account. But you can always pause the video at any given time to check that you are on point and to keep up. You might have noticed that I sped up the line drawing process a little bit, but not too much because this is also a very important step and I want you to be able to take it in properly. But like I said, it's really important to use reference anyway. And since you are getting all the references from all the steps, this will be really easy to reconstruct. So I really want to encourage you guys, try this out. I know when you see a really complicated drawing like this done already, you wouldn't know where to start. But with this method right here, it's really, really easy, believe me. I've done this a couple times already with the Batman, Deadpool, Spider-Man, Iron Man and so on. And I got pictures from a lot of you guys and you got amazing results. It really blows my mind. So please, even if you think this drawing is too much for you, give it a try. And I can't stress enough how important it is to do the first two steps properly, which is the gesture drawing and as we are doing now, the line drawing. So take your time with these, clean it up every now and then so you won't get confused with too many lines on the paper. And maybe watch this video a couple of times because this helps a lot as well. To see another one do the exact same thing you are about to do, it helps a lot. And what's also really good is to take your time and sketch the thing out on an extra piece of paper just a couple of times, two or three times, just a gesture drawing. This is a great way to warm up and also to spot some mistakes you might be making. And here we have it already. A nice line drawing, everything we need is on our piece of paper. Okay my friends, here's the most important step done already. We did a proper gesture drawing and defined all the most important muscle groups. And I transferred it already on my actual drawing paper. And I guess you can see immediately why I chose a 2B pencil to show, the, to show the sketching process. But from now on you will be able to see better even on this paper with a 2H pencil, which is a quite hard pencil, but there is less smudging with this one. Because now we are about to do the line weight. So let's do that. 
Okay, so we move to our Strathmore 200 series paper to do the actual drawing. Now I'm using my 2H pencil, which is a very hard one, but therefore I can do extremely small details, no problem whatsoever. And the smudging with those hard pencils is reduced to next to nothing. But you have to press way harder, which can be quite exhausting for your hands. But you can see, we can draw really small details like the teeth with no problems. I'm also drawing in some more details for the buildings, which is also way easier when using a hard pencil. Because for buildings you need to use a lot of parallel lines. And most of the time they need to be quite narrow to each other. And that's the reason why I only do them now. Would be a bit of a painful experience trying to do those with my 2B pencil. It would work, but it would be a whole of a different look. And another important thing, when you're doing line weight, you need to be aware of the light source, because the lines towards the light are getting thinner. Okay people, the line weight is done and I also drew in all the buildings and the moon. I didn't film the whole process of drawing the buildings, because this video is supposed to be focused on Venom. But if you want to do these buildings really properly, you should use perspective and there's also a video on my channel where I show you how to draw buildings. In this case, I just eyeballed them because I had the reference from CHC, which was quite easy. You can do it as well, but like I said, if you want to do it properly, check out my video on how to draw buildings. And with this step done, we're right off to do the strong blacks, so let's go! Doing the strong blacks is a lot of fun because it gives so much strength to the drawing, which is amazing to see. And if you want to achieve a look like CHC draws, then be a little bit more sloppy. Put in some extra bumps here and there and use a lot of dot-like patterns. Especially when you're doing a creature like Venom, you don't have to be too clean. And it's really very, very important to be aware of the light source all the time. In our case, the light source is coming from above and slightly from the left. This step is very time consuming, especially when you do it with pencils. It's way faster with the inks, but, and that's, and that's a big but, you can erase any, everything and that's a really big plus. When you mess up some strong black areas with the inks, you got a problem. You can use white out, but only to a certain extent. So better to stick to the pencil. And what I want you to pay extra attention for is the neck area. Make sure to use the same patterns as I used here and it will look amazing, especially after we are doing all the veins later on. So make sure to pause the video or just use the reference from my Instagram account. All the little X's you see, those are the areas which just need to be blackened out completely. And as you might know already when watching a lot of my videos, I like to draw muscles so they look cool. I don't think it's too important that they are anatomically correct. And with Venom right here, you can go even further and go completely nuts with all the muscles. The more the merrier. Now I'm about to use a little bit of magic. You see, all the really boring black parts of the drawing are done. Just slap the paper real hard and you're finished. No, but seriously, you don't need to see me blacken out all these areas. And what we are doing now is putting in some extra details, like the saliva and also all the bumps on the moon. And one of the absolutely most important things, the veins. We just erase all the places where we want to put in veins and then draw only the shadow the vein produces with broken up lines. And if you need more help on this subject, I will do a video about veins and folds soon. Okay guys, we are getting towards the end with this one. As you can see, the details, the strong blacks and the line weight are done. Which brings us to the cross-hatching process. And once these hatching lines will be on the drawing, it will look way more alive. There are three ways to cross-hatch. If you want to do it exactly like CHC, he does a circle thing where he do, does a circle and then hatches out of it. Looks pretty cool. Nice way to hatch. You can also just leave out the circle, use a little bit more pressure and do this. Works as well. What I like to do mostly is to keep it under total control and start with the light point and getting darker with more pressure. That's also a way you can approach it. However you feel most comfortable. 
Okay, so let's get this pencil sharpened and start with the crush hatching. Let's go! With the cross hatching or the rendering, we want to produce a transition from the strong blacks into the light. Make sure to follow the shape of the form, like in this case the muscle is round, so I have to do round cross hatching lines. When rendering very small shapes like these veins right here, you just do little dots. And of course you also have to be aware of the light source all the time, because all the lines they need to get thinner towards the light, like with the line weight. And if you break up the lines every now and then, it makes for a really cool look, it looks more natural, more alive. And here you can see the neck muscles again, I was talking about earlier, when they are rendered they even look better. I decided not to show you the whole rendering process, because for that I would have to sped it up really quite a lot because it takes a lot of time. And you can do the rendering lines as you want to anyway. They don't have to be really so exactly the way I did them right here. But it's very important to leave out the veins with the rendering lines as well, as you can see right here. Other than that, make sure that the space between the lines is consistent and may go bigger towards the light source. In the symbol of the chest, which is white, there are not supposed to be any strong blacks, so we just do hatching lines. So it gets a sort of three-dimensional look without being too dark. And we also do a lot of small rendering lines and small dots in the face. Makes the difference. Also, some thin lines in the teeth make them look better. And a lot of short lines and details on the tongue because there's not enough space for longer lines. When it comes to hatching, you can also stick to just simple lines in one direction and don't cross hatch, but since we want this one to look as close as possible to the drawing CHC did, we need to cross hatch. And as you can see right here, we are also using a lot of dots and small little cuts and stuff like that, so Venom looks vicious and like he's been in a fight. And to make those look believable, you need to do a little shadow, so you need to be aware of the light source even for these small details. And now we are finishing up with some last hatching lines on the moon, just to make that one more alive as well. And if you're done, your drawing should look somewhat like this. Okay people, this was a lot of fun and I hope you guys have fun redrawing this as well. And just because I'm such a nice guy, here are all the references from the steps in between. You can also find them on my Instagram account, as I told you earlier. But just to make sure you have them, you can make a screenshot right here, right now. And please, please, please guys, if you like the video, please share it with your friends, share it on your social media, that would really help me out a lot. Thank you. And don't forget to let me know down in the comment section, which character would you like me to draw in a tutorial like this one? And if you do so, you might be the lucky winner of this Amazon gift card I got from a friend for helping him out. So, good luck for that as well. I will pick a winner in about two weeks. Well, my random app will actually. But now it's time to wrap this up. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn on the post notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future videos and tutorials. And if you liked today's video, then also check out one of these. That's where I'll show you how to draw the Spider-Man and Deadpool also in pencils, also step by step. I think you will be able to redraw all of them. So have fun doing so, have a great day, Thank you for watching and see you on the next one guys. But first, click these.